Don't look so serious, Helen. It was meant to be a pleasant surprise. Oh, it is. It's. I just expected David's ugly mug, not you, that's all. He said he's awfully sorry he couldn't meet you, but they're busy dipping cattle today. Cattle being more important than relations, I presume. But of course, if, if you're going to be a farmer, you'll have to learn that. Yes. Mary, it's wonderful to see you again. I'm so glad to see you, too. Where's your porter? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, here. Yeah. 
cars out here. Just the same. He doesn't change much. Stolid, painstaking, and reliable. Everything, in fact, that I'm not. Oh, that's often the way with brothers. <laughs> I wonder if you're going to like it here. Well, you do. I was born here. Africa's my home. You know, I'm surprised that Dave never asked you to marry him. Not Dave. He's much too busy. Besides, he's a confirmed bachelor. You never thought I'd really come out to Kenya, did you? I'm like your brother. I'm never sure what you may do next. The trouble was, I didn't make my usual first good impression on you. What makes you think that? Because you told me so. In no uncertain terms. Oh, yes. I was angry with you that evening. I hoped you'd forgotten. Well, I haven't forgotten. No man could have done more. There was distant music, moonlight on the water, magic in the night wind. <laughs> this isn't fair. It's perfectly fair. What do I get for it? You've got too many girlfriends, you spend too much money, and you've no sense of responsibility. Oh, dear, did I say all that? Yes, you did. I all the same, it was true. It annoyed me. Yes, it was true. All the same, you came to meet me, didn't you? So I did. Tell me something. Now that I'm here, are you glad? I don't know. Of course I'm glad for myself. Well, have you missed me? Yes, I've missed you a lot. Well, then. I wasn't thinking about myself. This place has changed, Alan. It changed while I was in England. The country and everyone in it is at a crossroads. People are having to decide which one they'll take. Are you worried which road out eh? It's not always easy. Other people don't always like the one you choose. And that's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. What were they, police? Yes. Armed to the teeth, too. I thought you had been trouble with them, Armour, around here. Well, we haven't so far. That's father's land on the left now. Where's David's farm, then? Oh, you're 12 miles further on in the next valley. David Howard's brother. Yes. What's the matter? Not if I must.
like them. He was good to them. Yes. I know it's no consolation, but he shot three of them before they killed him. Were any of our own boys killed? No. They made off into the woods at the first smell of danger. Even Kamali. Not Kamali. He gave the warning. Somebody usually does. Too late. Nobody stood by him? Nobody. But he trusted them. That's the trouble. Too much. It doesn't make sense. It will when you've been here a couple of months. That's Swahili for lion. Their leader's name, probably. They go in for that sort of thing. Mary, I don't think Mr. Howard ought to stay here tonight. No, of course not. He's come to us. That's what your father said. I got him on the phone. Thank you. Why? Yes, Buana? Mr. Howard will stay with Mr. Crawford tonight. Yes, Buana. Is that Kimani? Yes, Buana. I am Kimani. These things are very bad, Buana. We can do nothing. I tried to warn the Buana, your brother. He does not listen. There's nothing we can do, Buana. But you're welcome. Go away, Kimani. Buana. Get out! still doesn't seem possible. Somehow I couldn't believe it would ever happen in our district after all we've done for the Africans. Go on, Well, enough. You can't get inside the head of a cuke, no matter what you do. I wish you'd call them Kikuyu. David was always so kind. No one could have done more for his boys. Why was he killed? Why? Why doesn't apply to the African any more than it does to a backward child? They both of them act entirely on instinct. Oh, nonsense. Mary. Oh, well, it is nonsense. Mama want to drive us out of this country, don't they? That's the idea, I believe. That's why they killed David. Because he was kind. Because the Africans liked him. It isn't part of the Mama plan for white men to be liked. Well, you're entitled to your own opinions, my dear, but I'll stick to mine. It's true. If every European behaved as he did, there'd be no discontented African. And Mama wouldn't be able to exist at all. Sixty years ago, when the first white men came here, these Africans were hardly down from the trees. How can they be rational, adult human beings? Oh, no, no, they're children. When Mary was six, I wouldn't have let her play with this. No, the trouble is we've given the Africans the wrong sort of toys. Ideas of self-government, nationalism. Now the Mama have got a hold of them and they've become dangerous. Damn dangerous. Take Kege here. Born on the farm. He and Mary used to play together. Now, as things are, he'd probably slit all our throats at the first opportunity. Oh, no, darling, Tiki is one of the family. Oh, yes, yes, my dear. You give these people credit for power to reasoning that they just don't possess. You do well to understand these facts from the start, my boy. They're nothing more or less than backward children. You can't lump five million people together and tie a label on them. Well, I know exactly what you're going to say next. Peter Caranja. Huh? Yes. Who's Peter Caranja? Oh, he's a local headman's son. Took his degree in medicine at McKellary College. He... Will you excuse me? He runs a dispensary for the Africans in the reserve. Mary goes over every day to help him. Hello. I don't very much like her going, oh, but she insists. Of course I insist. It's the only useful thing I do. Yeah. Don't think us yes. bitter about the Africans. 
You know, we've lived here for 30 years with no sign of discontent or ill will. And now we feel betrayed in a way. What is it, dear? Colonel Bridgman, there's to be a meeting on Tuesday to organize some sort of protection. He, uh, he said he hoped you'd be there. Yes, of course. Oh, no, I told him I didn't know what your plans were. My plans? Well, he thought you might probably go straight back to England. But it's a handful of farm if you don't know anything about it. Had you thought of going back, Alan? Going back? No, of course not. Dispensary. Dr. Grand is there already. I'll call for you later. Mary, you've forgotten your gun. Oh, thank you. The new time, why you never? The car better. The total location. Morning. Morning. Find anything out? Not yet. It takes time, you know. The old jigsaw, a piece here, a piece there. Did you work or no? The karate. Go, come on. Then you met, eh? No, ma, ma, ma. Asha. Why you neko? Come on, You told our location. Shara. Wana, this man was with me last night. I know him. He's a good man. Karachiri. Edmund seems a pretty responsible chap. Oh, he is, as far as any of them are. His son's a doctor, isn't he? Yeah, Peter Karanja. Have you met? No, but Mary's told me all about him. Yeah, she thinks a lot of him. And you don't? I have a nasty, suspicious mind. Always a bit wary of educated natives. No, you at eh? Uma, mau, mau. Asha. How you neko? Nena Robin. Itaro location. Kitungori. Buana. This man says he was with his wife when Buana Hard was killed. But his wife is Bogua's cousin, and she's in Nairobi. Askari. And where? Yen Dali. Was he one of them? I very much doubt it. What about the scars? There's hardly a cuke in Kenya who hasn't taken an oath at some time or other. If the scars are new, then you can look out for trouble. Father's men? Yes. One of my father's men. That was on Gutu, Buana. Yeah? He told me he went to see his father in Nairobi. He lied to me. You must send men to search my village. All right. It must be so. The evil is among my own people. She's ready now. The telly room, I mean, no, she done. No waiter. Is there anybody else for treatment? No. What's your girl for? Go ahead, eh? That's the last one. 
The shooting probably frightened them away. Well, why should it? They trust you? Nobody quite trusts me, you know that. To the white man, I am simply black, an outsider in my own country. To my own people, I am too friendly with white men. That is why it means so much that you work here by my side. It is a sign to my people. And to mine, perhaps. Perhaps. Mary! You see what happened? Yes, I saw. The scars were fresh. Oh, Alan. This is Dr. Caranger. I told you about him. Mr. Howard. I'm deeply distressed, Mr. Howard, about what happened yesterday. Please accept my sympathy. Thank you. David often used to come here. He felt very strongly about this sort of work. Didn't he? Yes. Yes, he did. Your brother, Mr. Howard, was a very good, kind man. It didn't do him very much good, did it? I'll be at the same time tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Howard. Goodbye. You see the mess we're all in, judging and condemning one another every minute of every day. Now you see how difficult it is. Yes, I do. I was rude to Karanja. I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not. Well, who can tell? It's even chances. But you must take chances, Alan. If we don't trust one another, there's no end to this horror. David knew that. And David's dead. Reserves have already been drafted into the area. Patrols are being strengthened. As a result of screenings, over 50 suspects are being held. I've asked for supplies of ship's rockets. One will be issued to each household so that assistance may be summoned at the first sign of an attack. I'm doing everything I can. It's up to you to avoid unnecessary risks. Does that mean that we ought to get rid of our houseboys? I'm certainly not going to get rid of mine. I've always trusted my boys, and I think they like me. But I'm pretty sure that some of them have taken the Mau Mau oath. It's up to you whether you trust them or not. It's only fair to say that a lot of them have only taken the oath because they're scared of Mau Mau. Scared of the Mau Mau, are they? There's an easy answer to that. Make them a bloody sight more scared of us. Put the fear of God into them. Yes. Yes. Burn down their huts. Show them we mean business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our own houseboys, the Africans who work our farms for us. Why can't you wake up to the fact that the Kikuyu are in a greater danger than we are? For every one of us which the Mau has killed, they butchered a hundred Kikuyu for not joining. That's all very well for you. You're a bachelor. Yes, but what about our wives and children? Well, you won't help oh, them, Oh, my... jabber, jabber, jabber. Let's have some action. Yes. Well, please, please, please. I've been out here as long as any of you. I've got a family, too. My stake in this place is as big as any of yours, if not bigger. I don't want my grandchildren to grow up in a country where they must wear a gun all day and sleep with it at night onto their pillows. That's what's going to happen if you people carry on like a lot of hooligans. Yes, I know, I know you can't reason with the Momo, but you can with the Africans. You must. Otherwise, you'll force them over to the enemy. You must reason with them. You must make friends of these people, or you'll find yourselves not fighting a few thousand fanatics, but five million angry people. You'll all be killed. Momo must be stomped out, yes, but we've got to think of the future. We must use our heads, not lose them. <laughs> Give the doctor a chance. Give yourselves a chance. We're not the only people with a stake in this country. We must learn to live together, side by side, black and white, and make it a better world. There's no other way out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't agree. I'm, I'm sorry, Doctor, but my husband and I have always done everything we could to help the Africans. We've, we've cared for our own boys as, as if they were children. But you almost make us out to be heartless, cruel monsters, and it... Well, it just isn't true. When we came out here after the First War, there was nothing here, nothing at all. We had to start at the very beginning. We've worked hard to build up our farm, and we've never even once been home to England for a holiday. We couldn't afford it. But we have looked forward to a few years' peace at the end of it all, instead of this... this 
horrible nightmare. Good for you, Mrs. Crawford. The government gave us the land. They begged us to come out here. We've got to look out for ourselves. I'm sick and tired of the guff we've been handed out by people like Doc Hughes and Davy Howard. <coughs> Doc's a good chap. Davy was a good chap, too, but that doesn't hold to the fact his head was full of dreams, and damn dangerous dreams. Oh, I know it's frightfully bad form to speak of the dead, but let's face facts for once, shall we? It was the David Howards of this world, out here in Kenya and back in England, too, with their slushy sentimentalism and their don't let's be beastly to our poor black brothers who've got us into this mess. We'll never get out of it, and we'll make up our minds to do one of two things. Either we get tough, and I mean tough. We've got to squash the blacks so flat they'll never dare raise their heads again. Or else, we've got to clear out of Africa for good. And by thunder, I'm not clearing out. If I've spoken more strongly than I should have done, I'm sorry, but we all feel strongly about this. He shouldn't have spoken like that about David. He couldn't help himself. He had to speak. Just the same, I didn't have to sit there and listen. I have one. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. The odd thing is, he's normally rather a nice man. Kind and considerate. Gives a Christmas party every year for the Totos, little African children. Mary, was he right in there? Are we being weak? Was David just hiding weakness with a whole lot of ideals? Oh, no, promise me you won't think that. I was angry in there, I know just now, but worse than that, I was suddenly afraid of, of what I was feeling. You're beginning to hate the Africans, aren't you? It'd look better if he went back. Mary, for heaven's sake, don't let this thing come between us. You think we could stop it? Yes, I think we could, if we wanted to. No, Alan. It's like a flood. We're caught in it.
What do you want? <laughs> morning, Kimani. Good morning, Buana. Who does he belong to? Just my partner? Mm. He belongs to nobody. What do you mean he belongs to nobody? Hasn't he got any parents? No family at all, Buana. Mama killed all of them at Larry. Oh, the massacre. Two brothers and three sisters also. They'd kill him too, Buana. But somebody kicked his head and he lies still. I can send him away, Buana. No, let him stay. <laughs> you feed him? Sometimes. Well, feed him all the time. Yes, Buana. Well, Mama killed a lot of your people up at Larry, didn't they? Yes. Why? Because they wouldn't turn against the white men? Yes, Buana. How many? Two hundred. Maybe more. Come in, Dr. Karanja. Good morning, Mr. Hart. Good morning. I wondered if there was anything you wanted done. It is easier sometimes for me to speak to my own people. That's very kind of you. My boy Kamani is pretty efficient. I think you are in danger here. Great danger. Am I? I see things, hear things, that perhaps the white man does not understand. Yes. I've no doubt you do. Mr. Howard, I think you should leave this farm at once. I've absolutely no intention of leaving this farm, Dr. Karanja. There has been one tragedy here already. 
I'd hate to think you were trying to frighten me. Yes, I am trying to frighten you. Have you told Inspector Drummond of your suspicions? No. Why not? Because the police can do nothing until... after action has been taken. Until it is too late. How about your father? Isn't he supposed to be the most powerful man around here? In another sense, my father is helpless too. I see. Well, I am staying. Very well. Grandra, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, nice little billet doux. Where did you find it? On the desk in my office. Any idea who put it there? Well, the place wasn't locked. Anybody could have put it there. And right on top of it comes Peter Coran, Jerry. Eh? Why, that may mean nothing. We won't get those. Time to start worrying is when they start sticking dead cats on your front door. Well, do you think Coran could have put it there? Well, could have done. More likely to get one of your own boys to do it. Kamani, perhaps. Kamani. I'm sure it wasn't Kamani. Oh, you can't be sure of anything. Once those boys have taken the Mama oath, they're jolly well going to do what they're told. Even if it means murdering someone they like and respect. Why pick on me? Because you're Davy Hyde's brother. Blood relationship stands for a good deal in this country. It must infuriate them to see another Howard in residence. Hello, Mary. Hello, Dr. Hughes. The doctor in. He's in the surgery. Got something for him. Can I come in? Yes, doctor, of course. You carry on. Don't let me interrupt. I just dropped in to bring you the oreomycin. Oh, doctor, I'm most grateful. Thank you. Not at all. You carry on. Any infection? No, I don't think so. Good. How is this business affecting you? Mr. Howard's murder? Yes. It has frightened many of my patients away. What do you think will happen next? I don't know. My people are simple and they have their grievances. We know that. It is easy for Mama to stir up discontent, anger. Anger breeds violence. Yes, and violence breeds more anger. And so it goes on. Of course, he may honestly have been trying to warn me. He may, but I don't trust him one inch. Well, if there's any sign of danger, then I think Mary ought to be told. Don't tell Mary anything. She may try to warn him without even meaning to. Is she safe? On my doorstep, perfectly. If anything else happens, we can always think again. <laughs> Keep those vouchers away till the police get here. You understand? Dio buona. Oh, dog, dog. Why are you Hello, sir. Well, I just come along and see how things were progressing. Things aren't progressing. The mom I've murdered one of my boys and slaughtered two of my cattle. They have, have they? They certainly have a nasty way of doing their murders out here. Yeah. That poor chap of mine. Now, there's nothing you can do. No, I suppose not. Thanks. Doesn't it ever rain in this ruddy country? <laughs> Plenty of times. Why? My southern pasture's bone dry. You see that herd of mine? 
Well, brute's in a shocking condition. Well, I want to drive him over to my land. I got more grazing than I can use. I said, you mean that? Well, of course. I hate to see good land wasted. I don't know what I'd have done without you out here. You're certainly learning the hard way, but it's quicker in the end. That calf died, you know. Uh, anaplasmosis. That'd be my guess. I got a blood report from the lab at Kabeti. It's a bit too technical for me, I'm afraid. Well, let me have a look at it. I must have left it on the breakfast table. I shan't be a minute. Don't run. It's too hot. Trying to get out of the guns, were you? No one, not me! Tight. Hmm? No, no, it's fine. I still think you ought to let Dr. Caranja have a look at it. Not on your life, thank you very much. How's my would-be murderer? He's dying. I hope he stays alive until Drummond arrives. You won't get a word out of him. He can hardly talk. Where's Caranja? Is he with him? Yes, why? What are you doing? It'd be too bad if Karanja stopped him talking altogether, wouldn't it? You wish to speak to me, Mr. Howard? One moment, please. I think it might be better if you uh, stay here until Inspector Drummond comes, Miss Crawford. We don't want any misunderstandings. The walls are very thin, Mr. Howard. I've just missed being slit open by a knife. I don't feel very subtle. You think I'm implicated in Marmar? Yes, I do. For what reason? Because I came to warn you that your life was in danger. How did you know my life was in danger? Because I am not a fool. Are you daring to call me a fool? Yes, I am. What shall we do about it? Put me against the wall and have me shut? Will that prove you right? It wouldn't prove anything. But it might be a very good idea. You really do believe that I support Mama? Yes, I do. The murderers who killed the only white man I've ever been able to call a friend. Are you talking about my brother? Yes, I am. And I'm proud of it. He was a brave, good man. I'm beginning to think he was a fool. You have no right to say that. I'm glad he isn't here now to see how we have betrayed and debased ourselves. Look at my scars, Mr. Howard. I'm a good Mama, aren't I? Look! I studied for six years, Mr. Howard. Six long, weary years. That would make excellent training for mumbo jump and blood drinking in the forest, wouldn't it? I became a doctor to save life, Mr. Howard, not to destroy it. I despise Mama, but I despise any man who preaches violence and intolerance. Are you all right? Yes. This is a bit of luck, isn't it? Luck? For him. Still alive, I hope. Is this the man? Yes, this is Barbero. I didn't ask you to come in. My place is with my patient, Inspector. 
Anyway, I don't think you ought to stay, Mary. I will if you don't mind. Well, Errol, can you hear me? Mr. Drummond! Question him, Inspector. It won't do any good, Tom. Maybe Where not. But what he can tell us Where can save people's lives. Where Our own and theirs. Where is Simba? Where is Simba? Where is Simba? Simba, eh? Rataku! Simba, eh? Rataku! The man is dying. He cannot answer. Rataku! Mama, nya! How much longer has he got? Mama, nya! A few minutes at Rataku. most. Nothing you can do? Simba. There's nothing that either of us can do but to let the man Njera die in Simba. peace. It's my duty to find out who Simba Njera is Simba. and stop any more killing. Hurry up, Inspector. Uga Simba! Uga Simba! Umburu Simba! Umburu Simba! It's too late, boy. Keep trying. Gomeru! Gomeru! Akoro Niko! Akoro Niko! Mamma mia! Me karaga ku! Me karaga ku! Simba. I'm taking you in for questioning, Karanja. Look, Tom, I think we've made a mistake. If you just let me... Just let me get on with my own job, will you? Take him away. But... And don't do that again. I'm not having my authority undermined by you. Some of them, Kiyama. They will soon grow fat at Buana Crawford's. Very good grass here, Buana. Horani, one day. Our boys are ready, Alan. Good. How long will you be? How long, Kiyama? Only 20 more, Buana. <laughs> Makes our squabbles look rather small, doesn't it? It's so quiet. Yeah, rather like coming out of action during the war. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> yes, I suppose it is, really. Mary, that morning when you saw me again at the airport, just at that very first moment. Yes. How did you feel? I felt like running away. I don't know why. Don't you? No. I do. I suddenly saw my independence slipping through my fingers. I was trapped. Mary, will you marry me?
It is usual to. To answer that question. I can't answer. Of course you. <clears throat> if, if you don't love me. Oh, my darling, of course I love you. Well, then. You said yourself. We're at war here. It doesn't make any difference. Yes, it does. We're at war with each other. Look. I love you. Not even a war can alter that. Now, do you still want to argue? No. I want to be at peace with you. That's what I want. Oh, well, then. But I'm afraid. Of me? Of what you might become. Just because I made a fool of myself over Karanja. Oh, damn all this. Don't be a matter at all. We love each other. Oh, darling. We can't live in a dream world on this hilltop. We've got to live down there. Among the blood and the hatred. All right, we'll run away. We'll escape. I can't escape. This is our world and we must face it. There's no peace anymore. Anywhere. Is that you, Fred? Yes, darling. Oh. Think I was never coming? No. Why isn't Cheggy serving today? He wasn't well. He told me this morning. I'm sorry I was late, my dear. But when Mary went off with half-hour boys to help Alan drive his cattle across, I found I was a bit short. Alan's a nice boy, isn't he? And I wasn't sure I was going to like him. Good heavens, why? Oh, I don't know. Mary made him sound rather irresponsible. And he isn't at all. Well, he's certainly settling down to the responsibilities as far as the farm is concerned. Thanks, my dear. Pretty tough, you know, starting from scratch. You did, Fred. It's a pity he isn't a bit more experienced. And I was rather... Relying on him, poor Davy. Oh, well. How do you mean, relying? Well, I, I had a plan. As a matter of fact, I, I still have. Only now I, I shall have to get a temporary manager. A manager? For him? That is, if we decide to take that long deferred holiday. Oh, Fred. <laughs> yes, a, a year in England, huh? Before we get too old to enjoy it? A year. Peace. At home. Oh, do you think we really could? <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful to see? <laughs>
Find out. No, Daddy. No, no, another kitchen brawl, I expect. Oh. Have you got your pistol? Yes. Lock the door after me and don't open it till you hear my voice. No, Daddy. Now don't get excited. You've had all this before, huh? Yes. <laughs> Where's the pistol? Yeah. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Quickly then. Morango. You stay here. Yeah. Well, if anything happens, run for the horses. And she's alive. I don't think the bullet can have touched anything vital. Mary! I 
father. Oh, no, you can't go in there. But I'm not going to. No, about it. That boy, Cheggy. They killed Cheggy, too. Cheggy. Your trusted Cheggy. Cheggy's the one that did it. Now, do you want to trust them? If you still think they're human beings, go in there and have a look. Please go, Adam. I can't even... Please go, Adam, go leave me alone. Mrs. Crawford's in a pretty bad state. You okay, better send for Dr. Hughes right away. Uh, take a couple of hours. Caranja's near her. Caranja? I let him out this morning. Take the jeep and get Caranja. Crawford's dead. They butchered him. Werner! It was Mandati. And he's the one I never trusted. That's the trouble. Thousands of them really do hate my mom, but you can never be sure which they are. Poor devil, he only just made it. No. Don't be frightened, darling. It's only Dr. Garanja. Not frightened, no. But I don't want him to touch me. He's gone now. Mary. My father. <laughs> we were going home to England. Tazuma, Angelia, Taputa, Pacey, Pacey! He's asleep. That is the best thing. I've done all I can for her in any case. She didn't know what she was saying just now. Yes, she knew. Even to look at me filled it with horror. That is what my people have done. It's nothing to do with you. You're not to blame. I am to blame as much as the man who killed your father. I shall never believe that. Yes, you will believe it. But you've done nothing. Sometimes to do nothing is worse than to take action. However evil. Pacey, Pacey! Luguka! Kabuta kira pahali! Panya haraka! Inspector Drummond. Yes? I know who Simba is. Oh, you do, do you? Yes. He's my father. That might be a very convenient story for you. Liti Hapa! Proof. This is my father's stick. Good enough. These three men here and get the rest of the jig. Sergeant! Tiaz Kari, Dani Agari! Araka! All right, I shall need you. 
Blanket. He's been here, all right. Inspector, take a look around outside. There he goes. I'm forty. We've lost him. Twenty. Shoot Simba! Searching. Why the hell didn't you let me shoot him? Because I wanted him alive. Besides, with that lion there, I couldn't take any chances. What's the lion got to do with it? You don't understand the African mentality. According to them, if you'd shot Simba, his spirit would have entered into the lion. So every time a lion roared in the jungle, some troublemaker would tell the poor fools it was Simba calling for action. Things are bad enough without that. It might make sense to you, it doesn't make any sense to me. Well, this is Africa. It makes sense here, all right. Hello, Dr. Hughes. Where's Mary? She's in bed, and asleep. 
With the sedative I've given her, she ought to sleep until midday tomorrow. Oh. It's the best thing for her. Yes. Believe me. Well, uh, how's Mrs. Crawford? Mrs. Crawford died soon after you left. Her heart was weak. Her life was here with Fred and Mary. She didn't want to live when Fred went. Would you take some advice from an old man? Don't worry if Mary doesn't want to see you just now. She'll turn to you soon enough. Yeah. I just wish I could believe that. Boys, Buana. All the boys gone in the night. Run away, all of them. Wait a minute. for you, Buana, right away. Pack? We go away quick, Buana, yes? Look, come on, if you're scared, you can go. I'm staying. Buana, don't stay here. You heard what I said. Yes, mm. By the way, where's the boy Joshua? He's still here, Buana. Well, you better take him with you. Yes, Buana. Yes, a lot of them. Well, you're not alone. Powerful houseboys in the area have done the same. You don't think there's any danger? No more for you than for anyone else. Or have they gone to any idea? Remember what I told you last night about African folklore? Yes. Well, apparently it works both ways. Simba's put it about that the white man's bullets can't harm him. Just bounce off him into the nearest lion. I'm sorry I can't help with the servant problem. Oh, it's all right. I'll probably find something in town. I'll be full of chaps with the same idea. Well, I can't but try, can't I? Well, give me a ring when you get back to the farm. Uh, just a routine check. Right. I can't take a salmon, a buana drummond. Don't go, Abby. Tika. So, bravo. Nina Habiru Kabuya. Buana Crawford, me and your hairy dear, young Gwenda Gwitheria. 
What does all that add up to? Anything useful? He says that Simba's in the forest at Manoa. Manoa? There are many men with him. Well, how many? More than 100. How does he know? His wife's brother is with them. Why is he giving us this information? He says that he also was one of them, but he remembers that Bwana Crawford forgave him a debt of money. Uh. Now he's ashamed. The trouble is, if we go to Manoa, we leave this post virtually undefended. <laughs> he says also that his wife has the tongue of a serpent and that she has borne him no men children. With the 20 pounds, he'll buy himself a new wife. That sounds more like it. If Simba's at Manoa, he's probably planning to attack the home guard post. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe he tells the truth, I'm not sure. There's a chance we can't afford to miss. Pick ten men to guard this post against a surprise attack. We're going to Manoa straight away. Yes, sir. You done, Didier? He wants to know if he may have the reward and go now. He'll get his money when we've got Simba. Ukariho Simba Nito. Simba Nenjamba. Nguana Gwatia Kwara. He says that Simba's arm is long and his magic powerful. He wishes to be far away before the vengeance of Simba falls upon him. I'll tell him that if he's been telling the truth, he's got nothing to worry about. He'll be safe here under lock and key until we get back. Ukingiru wo Kurukuru. Simba Nito Atiru Gwati. I'm Crawford, Danny. Injo. Dr. Karanja. Zuri. Forgive me for coming here, Miss Crawford, but I thought that... Why forgive? I think you know why. My father's man killed your father. And my father killed your mother. Yes, I know. I told you that I was as much to blame as the man who did it. If only I had spoken sooner... Could you have spoken sooner, did you know? I was not sure. I knew in my heart, yes, but for the white man, that is not enough. I had no proof. I wanted to tell you this before you went away, because you have always tried to understand. But I'm not going away. I'm staying with Dr. Hughes. I'll be at the dispensary tomorrow morning. You're not going to England? No. You can still work with me after this. You want to see me? Yes, please. I'm stopped by this man. Come in, Kimani. What is it, a message? No, ma'am, sir. Just think perhaps you're a new house boy. But you're working for Buana Howard. No, ma'am, sir. Not working for him now. Have you run away? Bwana Howard told me to go. He says, Kamani, you get out of here. So I think perhaps you'd like me to work for you now. Why did Bwana Howard send you away? I don't know, ma'am, But he must have had some reason. He just said, Kamani, you get out of here. That's all. Now, look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll run you over and see if I can't persuade Bwana Howard to take you back. No, no, I'll not go back there. I want a new place. What have you been up to? Nothing, ma'am, sir. Then why are you afraid? I'm afraid of Bonner Howard. You're lying, Kimani. No, this is true. We'll soon see. Four three seven oh one, please. I see. Please report it immediately. Thank you. line is out of order. Let me talk to you. Bring back a Kumani. Yeah. I'm a Hakan Jerry Kumani. Oh, yeah, Tia? I do, I do. You go get a Haro. Mama, Nick, my Haro, Mushi. Do you?
Drummond is not here. Warner Drummond give very strict orders for no one to leave the post until he comes back. Now listen to me. You must tell me where Warner Drummond is. I can get a message to him if you can't. There are three of his men here. I must know. Yes? Yes, thank you. He's at Manoa. Well, he'll never get back in time. In an hour, we'll be nearly dark. All right, we'll send one Ascari with Kamadi in my car to Manoa for help. Kamadi! Josh, left Kamani and come home, have you? No place for us, we better get out. You must tell Buona Drummond to take the other road. Buona Drummond got his don't you?
We're still in time. Oh, my darling, thank God you're safe. Darling, what the devil are you doing? We're going to attack. Come on, it told us. Well, sorry, back the way we came. The boys inside up. The place is crawling with them. You better have this. Where's the ammunition? We need all we've got. And keep down. Does Drummond know about this? He doesn't know. I sent a message to him, but I don't know. Never mind. We can probably keep him off for a while. Wishing, darling, I'm here. That's all I care about. Too. All right, ready? Yes, I'm ready. I want to talk to them. Talk! Talk, you blithering idiot. You can't talk to a bunch of howling savages. Yes, they sound like that. My father's trying to make them that. Look, this is a better weapon than words. No. This is not the answer. Don't you see, Mr. Howard, that most of those men out there are not sure in their hearts of what they are doing? Those are my brothers, Mr. Howard. I think they will listen. Are you sure they will? You'll be cut to pieces. That may be. It's suicide! Will you open the door, please?
Timwana Wakwa. He's not my son. He's a white man. No, Kwanda Ngobo. Ten years! You can't get on the one to know! against the truth. Some of them listened. Some of them understood. I listen, Karanja. Perhaps we don't deserve peace. But he... He has done nothing wrong now. 